Hello everyone. So in this session we are going to see one important topic. I'll tell the topic name later. Right. So in the previous session we have seen about the push button. Right. So suppose imagine instead of switch. Instead of this is a switch. Imagine this is a push button. Okay. I'll just rename this. Start. push button right so if it is a start push button and imagine this is your motor now go online so what will happen if you press this it will on after that you need to release this button no that time it will go off this situation should not happen once you press it will be on even though you release it will be remaining in a on condition for that what we need to do that is the logic so in a industry people will be using push buttons more than the switches then how come they are maintaining the output to remain on so that concept is called as latching concept so let's see what is this latching concept so latching the term latch circuit is a self maintained circuit in that after being energized it maintains the state until another input is received okay so it is like a momentary on is catched by the output and it still remains until it unlatch so unlatch means what there is some way to unlatch it that means to turn off it imagine you have a start push button for the motor as we have seen in the program you are starting it by using the latching concept how we are going to turn off that in some in some time in or in some situation you need to turn off that right even in our home once the tank is get filled you need to turn off the motor that time you will be using the stop push button no then that is called as unlatching right so i'll just have one animation for you let's have a look see once i i'm going to press even though if i release this lamp is in a on condition only so i'll repeat just watch it you are pressing and it is maintaining even though if you release it is maintaining right so but uh, in the previous uh, you know uh, session as a momentary push button if you press it will on if you release it will go off as we have seen no so i'll show you this just have a look see if i press that is on if i release it is goes off right yeah but in latching concept if i press it is maintaining so this is latching right so i'll show in a software how to perform this how to perform this in a software right so this is my start push button so latching means what exactly in ladder logic means you need to connect a parallel contact with the input so this is the one which is going for the momentary on right so parallel to this you need to connect a contact so like this so this is latching concept okay you are connecting the contact but what address you are going to give and the contact should be normally open contact so for latching it should be a normally open contact it should not be a normally closed contact right that is the first point what is the second point means what address you are going to give for this i'm having one input and one output apart from that i cannot use anything here so whether you are going to give the input address or output address the answer is you should give the output address so i'll tell you why whenever you are turning on this momentary on no whenever you are turning this on a first time it will be on for a second right because of this on this contact will also on because both are sharing the same address see this is also o colon 0 slash 0 this is also o colon 0 slash 0 right so just check error go online run just check now i'm going to turn on it is on right because of that this contact will also on 
only because both are sharing the same address imagine this is the momentary on no and turning off but still your output is uh, i think it is copied again just a minute okay it's okay fine so just check here even though your input is off your output is still in a on condition because of the power flowing through this right so i'll go offline yeah i'm turning on immediately i'm turning off like a push button right but see the output is still in a on condition because as per my logic i have created one parallel path to the input which is a momentary on or off right so because of that it is taking a different path to reach the output so my motor is in a on condition this is latching this is the same concept they have done for this animation see for this animation this is the logic behind that if you turn on even though if it is released it is in a on condition so this is latching right and how about unlatching see this is to turn on a lamp and uh, after that you need to have one more input to turn off that see i am turning on and this is to turn off this is like the example i have given for the motor concept in our home right so there is a way to turn off this motor right but in my rang how you are going to turn off the motor one thing is you should go for offline that's it there is no option so in that case you should unlatch it so whenever you are using the latching you should use unlatch also and the unlatch should be another input that may be your stop push button pb that's it stop push button right and uh, go for download this should be normally closed why it is normally closed i think i have given explanation for this whenever you want to turn off something you should use a normally closed contact okay check now i'm turning on and i'm turning off since it is a momentary on so motor is on once your process is done once your tank is filled you can press this button why i am using the second push button means see if i use the same thing it is not having any influence see it is not going to give any influence after the latching so once it is an latch you should connect one more input after the latching you should turn on this which will unlatch your motor so this is the same concept behind this animation check out this i'm turning on it got turned on if you unlatch that will be off that's it right so this is the latching and unlatching concept and the latching and unlatching is not only for uh, push buttons you can find application in uh, examples just see the example here this is the conveyor right imagine uh, a metro you will be keeping a bag for the checking right imagine that case right so the thing is you will be keeping a object here the the conveyor belt will be initially in off condition because there if there is no object it will not run if the object is placed because of the sensor because of this sensor it will give signal to the motor so because of the motor the conveyor belt will be moving conveyor belt will be moving because of it is behind the behind the screen is conveyor motor this is conveyor motor only okay so conveyor motor will be start running once the jobin sensor is giving the signal what is the function of jobin sensor it is detecting the object uh, object is there we should move it right so when the object is moving it will move and it will reach it imagine it will reach at this place now there is no object below this job in sensor right that time it will give zero that zero will turn off your motor and your object is struck in between
can you guess what i'm telling the sensor is giving the signal once the object was there when the object is moved the sensor will be in off condition which will make your motor to off so that your object will be stuck in in between so in this case also you can make use of the latching right so for this how to do the program means same concept only same concept see this is your sensor right so i'll show you now without latching okay so because of your sensor your conveyor motor is moving imagine like that go for online go for run now turn on your sensor is giving signal your motor is running so whenever your motor is running conveyor belt is moving so your object is moved when your object is moved away from sensor this fellow will go off now see your motor is off so motor is off means maybe your object is here it may be here right so it should not happen right this is not a good programming your object will be stop the conveyor belt will be stop until it reached this place right or someone there to uh, you know take the object so job in sensor should not give continuous signal also because the object is moved so in this case you can do the latching concept so what is the latching concept so you can connect a parallel contact with the sensor and the input and this going to be your motor like this so now see even though your sensor is not giving a signal the motor continue to on like this see your sensor is giving a signal your conveyor motor is running when the box is moved aside a sensor is giving zero your motor is still running got it so here how to turn off the motor unlatching unlatching may be here also you may have one more sensor which is detecting the object by using that sensor you can unlatch it that may be the job out sensor right so this is the important of latching and unlatching and why i have taken the this example is latching is not only meant for start and stop push buttons it may also act for a sensors like this okay in this case also you can make use of latching concept right i hope you have understood the concept just practice all the latching and latching and the logic gates in your ladder logic program since i hope you have downloaded it and uh, just practice the concepts in ladder logic to understand better i'll meet you in the next session bye